Hey everybody, so this is going to be part two of my mom makeup series. If you didn't catch the first one, I will leave a link down below. It's basically what I would do makeup wise if I had essentially no time. Like it took me about probably two minutes to do that makeup. So this one is going to be the makeup I would do if I had about five minutes to get ready. After this, I'm going to be doing one if I had 10 minutes and then I'll show you what I would do for a date night. So definitely check down below to see all those videos linked, but I'm gonna start off last time for the no makeup I did a tinted moisturizer because I didn't want too much coverage if I was doing very minimal makeup this time I'm taking it up a step higher and I'm using a CC cream this is my favorite one this is the super goop CC cream I like it for so many reasons I have a whole video all about it if you want to check that out I will leave it linked down below but this is the shade light because I am super pale right now so I'm just taking some on my finger and really quickly rubbing it all over my face just like I did with the tinted moisturizer. All right, so I'm just making sure to push the product into my hairline and then of course go down my neck. I actually have some monstrous zits on my neck right now. I don't know what is happening. I think it's hormones, but it's just awful. So yes, just really quickly rubbing this all in. Now with my no time makeup look, I didn't have time for concealer, but now I do, so I'm grabbing my Sephora Gel Serum Concealer. This stuff is amazing. It's very brightening, it um, is very lightweight on the skin, and it still has really good coverage. So I'm just going to take some really kind of sloppily, drag it under my eyes in kind of a triangle shape. I always put some down the bridge of my nose, between my eyebrows and then on my chin. So this not only acts as a concealer, but also kind of as a face highlighter. Then using my beauty blender, I'm just gonna quickly pat it all in. Moving on to eyebrows, I still don't really have time for my favorite eyebrow product, which is the Anastasia Brow Pomade. I love that stuff, but with five minutes, I just don't have enough time. So I'm using a eyebrow pencil again, just like I did before. This one is from Avon. I need to get a new one because it's so tiny but I'm just really quickly, kind of roughly drawing in my eyebrows. I think this goes such a long way to pulling a look together and just making you look more polished. So yeah, I would definitely invest time no matter how much or little time you have on your eyebrows. Now I'm just taking my trusty NARS translucent powder, like I always do, just to set the makeup, kind of take the shine down and make it last all day. You could use any powder you have. It doesn't have to be translucent. If you had um, a powder with color in it, it would give you even a bit extra more coverage. But I just love this one. And again, reaching for my tinted lip balm. This one is from Sugar, just like I used before. It's nude color. I could switch it up and use something different for you guys, but this one just feels so amazing. And I love the color and it's pretty new to me. So I didn't want to switch it up. I like it so much. All right, lips are moisturized, they look a little bit more presentable, and now I'm going to move on to something that I didn't do in the last video, and that is bronzer. I'm actually going to take, this is my Smashbox palette. It's kind of annoying to get the whole thing out, but I'm really in love with the shade of the contour powder right there, so you could grab any bronzer you want. Just going to place some on my brush, kind of tap it off, and then I'm just gonna warm up my face. I'm not contouring per se, but I am staying underneath my cheekbone right in this region. Then I'll add some to the high points of my forehead, just trying to blend it as I go. Really light at this point. Um, whatever's left, I'll put down the side of my nose and even underneath my jaw, just to kind of define that area. So that's what I'm doing on both sides. See how it just kind of brought a little bit of shape to my face, a little bit of life, it goes a long way. While I have this palette open, there are some blushes over here. I'm just gonna grab this, it's kind of a, a nude peach color very, very natural, and just add a bit more life to my face by placing some of that on my cheeks. If you wanted to use something that had shimmer in it or sparkle, you could do that for a little bit of glow, but I don't know, I'm not feeling the glow today, so I'm just going with a matte blush. And the last extra step I'm adding in before mascara is eyeliner. I feel like this goes a long way just to frame your eyes and make you look a little bit more put together. It does take more time, so that's why I'm adding it in my five minute video. And you know what, I've been doing eyeliner every day for a long time. So eyeliner for me is really quick, but if eyeliner is something that you struggle with, you may want to save that for a time that you have more time, especially if you're doing a cat eye. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it because, like I said, I'm used to doing it. I'm dropping things. I mean, you don't have to do a cat eye. You could just do a straight line across, maybe even smudge it with your finger.
coming in close, this is what the eyeliner looks like. Just a little cat eye. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply mascara, and that's it. All right, so there it is. Coming close so you can see it. So it's got a bit more coverage than that um, tinted moisturizer had, and my eyes look a little bit more put together because they're more defined, and so does my face with the bronzer. But altogether, this look, if I hadn't been talking, took me about five minutes. So hope you guys enjoy. Look out for the next video where what I would do and add if I had 10 minutes. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!